Hey guys, Mangrel here, and today we're going to take a look at the Sunlu Filler Dryer S1 and see if it actually works. You can get yours from Amazon, link in the video description. Right now we can see that the heater is at 24 degrees. So PV I think means present value. And then we can modify the temperature by using these buttons. So if we press this, we can see it comes down. If we press this, it goes up. So SV set value. And then if we hold the left button down, this tells us the number of hours it'll be on for. So we can say, you know, more, less, whatever we like. So let's say three hours. And the display has this nice little backlight as well. So it's very easy to, to see and to read. And overall, it's quite easy to use. So now once we set this, we hold this down. And we can see it's heating up fairly quickly. So it's at 27 degrees. And it also has two outlets for the filament. There's one over here, which will output it straight forward. And then there's one more at the very top, which will output it at a 45 degree angle. And this is the one that I use. So one thing you'll notice is that the door has no door stop. So ideally it would stop over here, but it doesn't. So it just keeps going all the way back. Now, once you open it up, you'll notice that we have this large metal piece. This is the actual heater, so don't touch that. And then you have these two rollers down here, and these are ball bearing rollers, so they're very, very smooth. And this is what the filament roll sits on, and then we'll roll back and forth. Then you also have these two side pads, and this is what keeps the uh, heat inside a little bit, but also prevents the roll from hitting the side. So it's a fairly simple design, nothing too crazy or too complex here. Now this is designed more for standard rolls of filament. And here I've got my Saint Smart at 250 grams. So this is kind of small. And what you'll notice is once we put it in there, it still is pretty stable, but it has the ability of moving back and forth. But it still does work uh, decently. And you can tell that once you have a filament in there, there's quite a lot of uh, ball bearing noise or roller noise. And here is how it looks when you put a standard size filament roll in there. So you can see the same kind of noise. Okay, now that we have this in here, we'll go ahead and route our filament through. We'll just pass it through here. Doesn't sound good. <laughs> um, and then you'll pass it through. You need to print some kind of filament um, routing doodad. So once you got that, we'll just pass it through that. And then you'll stick it into your printer. To test the Sunlu dryer, we used our oldest roll of TPU. And if you saw our TPU printing video, I'll link you up here. TPU does absorb moisture over time. And once it does, there's a huge impact to your print quality. So we'll use our oldest roll, which is about a year old, to do five prints using the exact same G-code file. So we only slice this file once. And these five prints, the first is without any kind of drying. But again, this is the proper storing um, method. So we have it in, in a airtight bag, desiccant, and so forth. Then we used our Sunlu dryer for 12 hours at 55 degrees Celsius. 
Next, we use this for 24 hours. Then we put the same roll of filament into the oven at 180 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 hours. And then finally, we left it in the oven for 24 hours. So if we look at each of these, the first one here is kind of fresh out of our airtight bag. So we can see, looks fine. We have a bunch of stringing over here. Then we have the same print file using the sound loop dryer for 12 hours. And I can see definitely a lot less stringing if I compare these two again. So this one that had no drying, lots of um, stringing in there. This one, substantially less, but otherwise looks the same. Okay, next we have the print that was in the dryer for 24 hours. It looks the same, but actually it has even less stringing. So I just see the three or four tiny wisps over here. Then we have the one that was in the oven for 12 hours. Looks very similar, maybe a little bit less of these uh, marks, which may be caused by uh, the seam settings or could actually be some uh, moisture in the filament that causes that, that popping sound and uh, causes these air bubbles. A little bit less of those, but I, actually we can see here that now we have no, no stringing. So that the one or two strings that we had over here with the sun blue dryer, that's completely gone. And then finally we have the one that was in the oven for 24 hours. And maybe a couple less of these artifacts there. Uh, stringing wise, looks the same. All right, to wrap up, the Sunlu S1 is an easy to use dryer that does a fair job at keeping your hydroscopic filaments such as TPU, PETG, and nylon dry. It's very easy to use. It's compact, silent, and very affordable at roughly $80. Again, check the video description for a link to Amazon. Now, it would have been nice if the lid had some kind of stop to prevent it from just flopping over. It would be nicer if uh, quieter rollers were used and also, it would be nice if the power cable was a bit longer. Although at this point, we're just nitpicking, considering how slowly the filament roller actually turns and the fact that you can always use an extension cable. The fillet dryer only goes to a maximum of 55 degrees, so it's not going to be able to fully dry your filament. So you'll, you'll be using the fillet dryer and your oven in most situations. However, this dryer is a great tool to keep, and I emphasize keep your filament dry when you are printing, especially if you're located in a humid area. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment.